Charge Specials are special moves that have a strong effect inside the game, and this effect is balanced by having a limitation outside of the game. The need to charge a directional for a period of time before you can execute the move. Holding a directional to achieve and maintain access to charge specials usually means sacrificing mobility, a heavy price. That is why charge characters in both Street Fighter and Guilty Gear employ various techniques that allow them to charge while doing something else, and avoid the sacrifice in mobility. This video will show you most of these techniques, with some being more complex than others. For the sake of convenience, we'll be using the terms Sonic Boom, Charge 4, 6 plus button, and Flash Kick, Charge 2, 8 plus button. Named after arguably the most iconic charge character, Guile, from Street Fighter. 1. Charging a Sonic Boom during a chain of hits. This is very easy, as you just need to keep the joystick held in the backwards positions. Do your standing normals with 4 plus button, and your crouching normals with 1 plus button. You can use almost all of your ground normals freely this way. 2. Charging a special during a jump. While you're in the air, your movement is usually fixed, and charging doesn't typically affect it. So you can charge a special and use it as soon as you land, which is useful for the low options in powerful corner mix-ups. 3. Dashing Sonic Boom While you maintain a charge, simply do 6-6 plus button to perform the special after a dash. 4. Running Sonic Boom if the opponent jumped above you and switched sides as you were running forward, you can hold the directional and keep running. But now it starts counting as a backwards charge, so you can execute a sonic boom. 5. Running Flash Kick After you start running, roll the joystick from 6 to 3. You'll continue to run, but also start a down charge. 6. Getting a sonic boom instead of a 2-3-6 special. If you want to reduce possible input errors between the two different motions, don't end the Sonic Boom motion with 6, but with 3 instead. It still works, and without the risk of doing an accidental 2-3-6 special. 7. Rotating Charge Types You may recognize this from some Street Fighter characters. If charge moves can be done with diagonals as well, you can charge one special while doing the other, and vice versa, for a quick string of charge specials in rotation. Simply charge both specials with 1, then move the joystick along the edge to 3 plus button, and quickly return it to 1, then to 7 plus button, and quickly return it back to 1, and repeat this rotation quickly. 8. Charging a flash kick during a crouching chain of hits. Very simple, as using only crouching normals allows you to maintain a flash kick charge. 9. Charging a flash kick during standing multi-hit normals. Multi-hit normals not only last longer, but also have unique cancel properties. If one of the early hits connect, the later hits can be cancelled at almost any point, during the startup frames and even during their recovery on whiff. This means that even if the last hit normally whiffs, you can use the last hit's animation to gain the extra time needed to finish the flash kick charge, and execute the flash kick during the startup. If you start charging immediately after starting the multi-hit normal, without waiting to see it on the screen, you'll complete the charge fast enough to keep a minimal gap before the special hits. To demonstrate the last two charge techniques, we first need to explain what an input buffer is. Guilty Gear makes it easier for players to perform combos by including a small input buffer on every cancelable move. Let's say S can be cancelled into H from the 12th to 15th frame. Normally, this means you need to press the H button within a small window, or else the cancel won't come out. But the game lets you press H on the 10th frame, saving this input and executing it as soon as the 12th frame arrives. In Venom's case, utilizing the input buffer from the previous normal allows you to start charging earlier, and minimizes the gap even more. 10. Charging a flash kick from crouching normal into standing normal. You get the charge ready during the crouching normal, but you input the second normal during the execution of the flash kick. So in our case it's done with crouching P, neutral K, up plus H. It's important to use a fast normal in the middle, and also to cancel into this normal as late as possible, and not in the early input buffer window. 11. Charging a flash kick from two standing normals. 
Unlike the previous technique, this one works only with two heavy normals, and with this one we must utilize the input buffer to make it possible. Execute the first normal, and then press the button for the second normal right before the first normal connects. If done right, you have finished the cancel at the earliest possible moment via the input buffer. Immediately after you press the button, start charging the flash kick. If you timed both the cancel and the charge input as early as possible, you'll get enough time to finish the charge and cancel the second normal into a flash kick. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, as we have plenty more content coming soon.